Uh, ladies and gentlemen, may I take this opportunity on behalf of the Electoral Commission uh, to express uh, our uh, perspective regarding the environment that is conducive to free and fair elections. Uh, that the Commission regards this as an, a very important aspect of our preparations for the election. And in this regard, the Commission wishes to raise our deep concern over the level of violence uh, leading up to these local government elections. We condemn in the strongest terms the latest incidents of election-related violence over the, and the other violation of the Electoral Code of Conduct, which have included the murder of a number of candidates for the municipal elections, uh, the, the upcoming municipal elections. The Electoral Commission uh, wishes to express its deepest sympathy and condolences to the families of those affected by these acts of political violence. And this upsurge in the violence in certain areas of our country, especially in Guazulu Natal and in Bumalanga, is something that we find loathsome attempt to uh, disrupt the campaigning for the uh, upcoming elections. And we, as the Electoral Commission, remain committed that there will be no derailing of us realizing the constitutional imperative of delivering the elections on time. And therefore, the Commission calls on the various uh, uh, structures throughout the country that are responsible in the security cluster as well as in ensuring that there's mediation on, on the provincial level. But we further acknowledge and uh, urge uh, such structures such as the provincial uh, 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 joints uh, in KZN that they must remain vigilant as, as the recent discussions and engagements that we've held with the provincial leadership to look into the issues of ensuring that the elections uh, go smoothly in the province. And the Electoral Commission further urges and calls on the leaders of all political parties and all free-loving South Africans to speak out strongly against any acts of violence and intimidation and to protect our hard-won democratic ideal from those individuals who would see uh, our nation regress if they succeed with such acts. And we condemn the, these crimes that they are not just against individuals that have been affected, but are against the very fabric of our society and our way of life. And they must not be allowed to undermine the gains we've made as a nation. And we as a commission, we we remain and continue to be committed in ensuring that we will use all the resources and the, the support structures and systems at our, dis at our disposal in ensuring that the environment that is conducive to free and fair elections is realized. And we finally urge all South Africans to prepare themselves to participate fully in the up and coming elections. And for the political parties, we wish them to uh, well in their campaigns and that they should also ensure and assist that everything runs smoothly for us to be in a position to have uh, free and fair elections. And thank you.